Hi everyone, my name is Michaeli. I'm from BreakingYarn.com and MichaeliMarler.com as well. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to insert a lifeline into your knitting with the Chowgu Red Lace interchangeable needles. This is something I could not find online and so I decided to create one um, to show anybody else who may be looking for that how to do it because it's actually incredibly easy and I think it's incredibly useful especially when you are knitting a brioche project. So let's get started. So one of the neat things about the Chowgu Red Lace interchangeable sets, um, I know I talk about them a lot on my um, blog, is that they have so many different needle sizes available as you can see I'm using several sets right now um, but the the red lace cables that come with them have these little holes on each side of the cable and these are the ones that you would stick your key in to tighten your needle onto so that they don't fall apart or come apart while you're knitting but there's also another use for them. Well, I really like to use this um, thin lace type weight um, thread yarn. Um, it's perfect for when you're using fingering weight or even a DK weight yarn in your project. Um, it's really thin and it will also fit inside the Chowgu red lace um, holes that I just showed you. So make sure you have something that's really thin like this, some sort of, even probably a thread would work too, but um, I like to use this um, thread yarn. So I'm just gonna pull off what I think will be enough and cut it. Okay, these are really fun scissors too. I really like these. And the first thing you're gonna do, this is a new project I'm working on. And I already have a lifeline inserted, so um, you may see that coming out as well. But so there's these little holes. You can see that, okay. And you're just gonna thread this through one end of it. I like threading a needle, <laughs> knitting needle. And then I'm going to tie a knot here. Or just like one little, not double knotted, but just one little knot there. And then you're gonna take the other end to the other side of your needle this is probably, you know, a lot longer than I need it to be, but I didn't want to have it to be too short. Then thread the other side and tie a knot. Or tie at least one knot worth. You don't need to have it double knotted or anything. So like that. So now we have both sides have this yarn thread attached to it like that and now you're going to knit your row like you normally would with all the extra strings it might be a little awkward at first um, but i will show you let me just oops let me just show you Just a little bit what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going in pattern here. Oh no, I'm on a, I'm on a bark row, my bad. And this is the back of my work. I am inserting it on the last row um, before 
the next section of this pattern. Um, I'm doing that so that if I make a mistake going forward after this row, it will be super easy for me to um, go back without having to pick up live brioche stitches, which if any of you guys have knitted brioche before, is such a pain in the butt. Um, the nice thing about this is that you can insert a lifeline into any kind of knitting that you're doing. And when you're doing it, like, while you're knitting, you can see my lifeline is kind of being inserted while I'm going. Um, if you do it while you're knitting, you don't have to figure out which leg of which stitch you need to pick up. And if you just do them every so often, or whenever you about to start a new section that is maybe a little bit more scary or you're not as confident about, um, it's a good idea to insert a lifeline so that it's easier to go back if you need to. So I'm just gonna continue knitting this row in my normal brioche pattern here which right now is just an easy bark row if any of you know brioche so i will meet you back at the other end of the video when i'm or at the other end of the row excuse me so I'm almost to the end of this row here. So I figured I would show you. And one thing I wanted to just mention is that when you're knitting the row while you're inserting the lifeline, it gets a little awkward and the stitches kind of feel a little tight and just like a little funny on the um, cable. So just, you know, be aware of that. So then now what I'm gonna do is untie this so i'm gonna untie this from this end okay so there's one end i just untied that end and now i need to pull this back and untie this end here sorry one second Let's see, I need to pull one of these. No, so here's the end. Okay, so I need to untie this. Okay, so it's untied, but as you can see, I have two of the ends coming out of one side, which is probably not how it's supposed to be. And then this side has a double, so I need to pull on one of these strings through the hole. So I'm gonna hold both of these kind of tight here because I don't want to lose it. And I'm gonna pull just on this one here. Okay. So now, and I mean, who knows if I'm doing this right too, guys. Like this is just the way that I found works because I could not find this online, so. This is the way I found that it works. Okay, so here it's coming through the knitting. It's going all the way through. You can see it right here. Don't mind that other one is just another, another lifeline that I had previously inserted. And then it goes all the way over to the other side coming out. So theoretically, if I needed to go back in this knitting project, I could, um, take out the needles, rip out the yarn, and then it will go to the live stitches on this thread here. And then I'll be able to insert my hook or my needles, sorry, um, back into those ones. And the nice thing with the um, lifeline on brioche is since it's double knitted, you'll see like 
it goes through the front and then it goes through the back and then it goes through the front and it goes through the back and I didn't have to figure out which stitch to stick the lifeline through in order to do that because it is a little more complicated there's twice as many stitches there's a front and a back um, as you can see this is the front so um, it's just I think it's it would be a great practice to just insert your lifeline um, before you move into any of the hard sections or any section that you don't feel confident about which is what I'm doing um, this next section up here I am gonna try something that I've never tried before um, so I'm, you know, I'm a little more hesitant that it'll work <laughs> and I don't want to have to struggle to go back and fix my knitting, um, if I should mess up. So there's just a quick tutorial for you on how to insert a lifeline, um, using the Chowgu red lace. These are the interchangeable sets. Um, I love them so much. I'll put a link um, in the description box down below um, about where you can purchase them from Amazon. They're just like amazing and I love them. And they're the only knitting needles that I work with now, basically. So um, that's that. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I appreciate you joining me today. Again, my name is McKaylee and I'm from BreakingYarn.com and McKayleeMorler.com.